Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, Nvidia will unveil RTX 50 series GPUs, while AMD showcases Ryzen 9000 X3D processors and Radeon RX 9000 GPUs. In addition, GTA 6 is expected to exceed expectations and Game Pass could launch on Steam in January 2025 and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in and let's kick things off. First up, according to WCCF Tech, AMD will unveil its Radeon RX 9000 series gaming graphics cards, Ryzen 9 9000 X3D processors, and the highly anticipated FSR 4 technology at CES 2025. The latter is expected to bring significant advancements in software. The AMD Radeon RX 9000 series will include both desktop and mobile models. The GPUs, based on the RDNA 4 architecture, will feature the high-end Navi 48 chip and the entry-level Navi 44 chip. Additionally, AMD will showcase new laptop GPUs based on RDNA 3 and RDNA 3.5 for the Ryzen AI Max Strix Halo APU. As for processors, the AMD Ryzen 9000 3DV cache lineup will include the 16-core Ryzen 9950X3D and the 12-core Ryzen 9000X3D. It is reported that the clock speeds of the Ryzen 9000X3D will be at least as high as those of the Ryzen 9000X. Moreover, Team Red is expected to introduce use FSR 4 technology, which will use AI to enhance frame generation quality and improve battery life for portable consoles. In this case, AMD is playing catch up, as Nvidia and Intel have already implemented AI scaling for their graphics cards. Do you think FSR 4 can rival Nvidia's DLSS and Intel's XESS? Share your thoughts in the comments. Grand Theft Auto 6 is set to be one of the most notable game launches of 2025 and a milestone in gaming history. The game aims to push the boundaries of open world action titles with exceptional quality and detail. Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick shared confidence in the project, describing it as bigger, better and more engaging than anything the industry has seen before. Analysts expect GTA 6's release to dominate the gaming landscape, prompting some publishers to adjust their schedules to avoid competition. Launching in fall 2025, the game will initially be available on current generation consoles, with a PC version likely to follow later. The excitement grew after the release of its first trailer in December 2023, highlighting the game's advanced graphics, animations, and immersive world design. Reports from the gaming community revealed that the Nvidia app was causing substantial performance drops of up to 32% in specific scenarios. The issue was linked to the Game Filters feature, which allows users to apply visual filters to enhance the in-game experience. To address this, Nvidia released a new version of the app, which disables the Game Filters feature by default. This move is aimed at protecting users, particularly those unfamiliar with advanced settings, from inadvertently degrading performance. Despite the update, the feature still negatively impacts gaming performance if manually enabled. Nvidia is continuing to investigate the issue, but users are advised to leave the feature disabled for optimal performance until a more permanent solution is provided. Do you use visual filters in games, or do you prefer optimal performance? Let us know in the comments. AMD's upcoming Ryzen 9000 X3D processors are gaining attention for their balance of high performance and advanced features. Unlike the previous generation of 3 dv cache processors, these new models will not sacrifice clock speeds to accommodate the increased L3 cache. The Ryzen 9950X3D will offer a maximum boost clock of 5.7 GHz, matching the Ryzen 9950X. Similarly, the Ryzen 9 900X3D will match the 5.6 GHz boost clock of the Ryzen 9 900X. This represents a significant improvement compared to the Ryzen 7 800X3D and 7950X3D, which had reduced clock speeds. Both models support full overclocking, allowing enthusiasts to extract additional performance. AMD's approach signals a focus on delivering uncompromised performance, even with the added benefits of 3DV cache technology. Xbox Game Pass, Microsoft's subscription gaming service, will be integrated into the Steam platform starting in January 2025. According to Insider Extasis, the service will operate similarly to EA Play, with a dedicated section for Game Pass titles within Steam's interface. This collaboration between Microsoft and Valve was reportedly negotiated by Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, and Gabe Newell, CEO of Valve. The integration is expected to expand Game Pass's user base significantly, making it more accessible to PC gamers who primarily 
use Steam for their gaming library. Game Pass is known for its extensive library of games, including first-party titles from Microsoft Studios that are available on the service at launch. With the addition of Steam integration, the service will likely become even more appealing to gamers looking for convenience and variety. What do you think about Xbox Game Pass coming to Steam? Share your thoughts in the comments. Nvidia has revealed plans to release the GeForce RTX 5080 in mid-January 2025. This next-generation GPU will feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, offering a data transfer rate of 32 gigabits per second. The RTX 5080 will be the first Blackwell architecture GPU to hit the market. The flagship RTX 5090, with 32 gigabytes of VRAM, is expected to follow between late January and mid-February. Nvidia's decision to stagger the launch aims to avoid the challenges experienced during the Ada Lovelace series where the RTX 4080's reception was overshadowed by the more powerful RTX 4090. This strategy indicates a more consumer-focused approach, ensuring that mid-range and high-end models each receive appropriate attention and adoption. AMD's Radeon 8060i GPU, part of the Strix Halo Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro 395 processor, has demonstrated impressive performance in early benchmarks. The GPU scored 12,516 points in 3D Mark Time Spy, surpassing several desktop GPUs, including the GeForce RTX 4060 and Radeon RX 7600. When compared to higher tier GPUs, the Radeon 8060 outperforms the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti by 5.5%. However, it trails the GeForce RTX RTX 4060 Ti by about 7%. The benchmark results also show near parity with the Radeon RX 6700 XT and the mobile GeForce RTX 4070. This level of performance from an integrated GPU highlights AMD's advancements in combining CPU and GPU technologies within a single chip. Could integrated GPUs like the Radeon 8060 replace budget discrete GPUs? Share your thoughts in the comments. Intel has announced its CES 2025 press conference, scheduled for January 6th. Interim executive Michelle Johnston Holthouse will lead the presentation, streamed live on Intel's official website. While no specific products have been confirmed, industry experts anticipate announcements for the Core Ultra 200H and HX mobile processors, desktop Core Ultra chips without K indices, and new mid-budget motherboards featuring the LGA1851 socket and 800 series chipsets. Insider All the Watts shared the first 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark results for AMD's flagship Radeon RX 9070 XT. The GPU scored 22,894 points, which is approximately 2% higher than the Radeon RX 7900 GRE, which scored 22,443 points. It is also nearly on par with the base GeForce RTX 4070 Ti, which scored 22,775 points. However, the Radeon RX 9070 XT falls behind the previous generation Radeon RX 7900 XT by about 17%, which scored 26,774 points in the same test. Additionally, the RX 9070 XT performs worse than the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super, which achieved a score of 24,224 points in the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark. It's important to note that synthetic benchmarks like 3D Mark do not always reflect the actual gaming performance of a GPU. A clearer picture of the Radeon RX 9070 XT's performance will will emerge once independent reviews and tests in AAA games are available. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Do you think FSR 4 can rival Nvidia's DLSS and Intel's XESS? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.